All right, welcome back, and we are doing another tutorial on our games workshop uh, with Scratch. And this time what I want to do is, is there's a whole family of games that are racing games, driving games. And you can make them really fancy, but I want to give you the basics, basics, basics here first. And once you have the basics, I can help you uh, make them even a little bit cooler once you get going. But first off, let's get rid of Scratch, uh, the cat, because I don't know, it's just, I, I like the cat a lot. But for this one, it's not the best. So let's um, upload costume from a file. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. You could download, actually, a picture of a car if you want. You could use, uh, do that. I actually wanted to hit this one. And so it's uh, transportation. They've got a couple cars in here, and I'm not going to um, download. But you, you could do that if yourself if you find an image you really like. So let's go with uh, this little uh, VW. Okay, cool. And in here I can delete the cat if I want and just leave the car. Okay, so for this one I need the car actually fairly small. So I'm going to use this shrink command here, these arrows going in, and I'm just going to go boom, 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 boom. Quite small car. Okay, and there we go. Now back to this. Now sometimes people are like, Mr. Kellett, where would my, where'd my command go? I can't find it. Well, scripts is here. This is where our program gets built. This is costumes and this is sounds, okay? So um, you want to be able to work through all three tabs. But here I go. I've got my car. And when the flag is clicked, of course, is when I start. Now, like most games, the commands last forever, okay? This forever command is really one thing people forget sometimes. You need it. You need it. You need it. You need it because... I don't want him to just be able to drive for a little bit. I want to drive the whole time the game's going. So forever, things inside here apply. Okay? And this one I want to have a gas pedal. So if, and I'll go sensing, key space bar is pressed. I'll use the space bar for gas. Motion, move 10 steps. Let's try it out. I hit the space bar. Woo! Move that way because he's pointed that way. I'd actually let's go into information here for a second, and we'll rotate this way. Whew. So for this type of game, we do want it to rotate all the way around because that way I can see uh, where he's pointed. He's always going to go towards his nose. Let me just grab this and point him around. Okay, so there we go. Let's try this now. Wow, that's pretty good. Maybe a little fast for me. I'm not that good. Let's move it down to six. Great. Now I want to add another control thing. If, and I'm actually going to grab two of those. If sensing, let's use simply the arrows. Right arrow is pressed. I want them to turn right. Okay. So if I press the right arrow, then turn to the right. And you're going to guess what the other one is. I'm going to drag it right in there. If I press left, turn to the left. See? Left arrow, boom. Let's try it out. Flag. Wow, look at that. I have a race car game started. Pretty cool. Now, the next step for this game is for me to draw a background. So to see how the stage is right here, I click on the stage, click on backdrops, and I can use a color. Oh, let's use blue and make a fairly big brush here. And let's just go make a sort of our race car track. I want to actually get that in there. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, obviously, this is not that pretty. Wow, look at that. And uh, let's make it a centerpiece where he's got to avoid as well. Woo! All right. Now. Let me uh, move my car off the... Oh, this is going to be really hard. This is going to be really, really hard. I might want to make my car just a little bit smaller. Smaller makes it a little bit easier on this type of game. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, go back to scripts. Now people are like, where's my program? Remember, I'm on the stage here. You want to click back to your car. And I want to add one more thing, where if... Sensing now if he's touching a color, what color do you think I'm going to choose? Click this and I get this little eyedropper. Oh, I don't get an eyedropper in this one. Sorry, the old download version, you get an eyedropper. Here you get a finger. Click. 
I click on the color I want to have something happen. So if I touch the blue line, then we'll have, um, oh, I don't know, what should we do? Let's go to costumes. Let's add a costume. Um, let's, I don't know, should be like an explosion really is what I want. Um, but I don't think I've got an explosion. I don't know. Let's have them turn into a beetle. So if I was perfect, I'd have a beetle here, but I want them to turn into a beetle and stop when um, he touches the edge. Okay, so if touching this color, then I go to, sorry, looks, and I say switch costume to beetle, control, stop all, Whoop, stop all, goes in here. Okay, and now because he's going to switch to a beetle, I need at the start of the game to switch him to the car. Okay, at the very start. And I also need probably to have him um, go somewhere, right? Because he, he, if he's stuck against the edge when I start, he's going to be against the edge already. And this part will run and it will stop it. So that's no good. As soon as I click the flag, I want him to go to... Um, this one here, go to, and he's going to just put it here. You can find a, a coordinate that works. Right now he is right there where it says 113 and 94 is where he is. So it's going to work. So watch this. I'll drag him off. He's a beetle and he's here, but when I press the flag, look what's going to happen. He's going to go to this other spot right here, and then he's going to switch into the car costume, and then I should have control. Let's see if this works. Click. Oh, sure enough, he turns into a flag or turned into the car. I can drive him. Whoa, not bad. Oh, and I hit the edge and he turns into a beetle. Hopefully yours won't be a beetle, but a fireball or something else. You can have a sign come up that says get game over. You can do something like a sound effect of a crash. It'd be awesome. But this is the basics idea of making a driving game. Okay, check it out. Have some fun. Good luck.